The Factor Theorem is a really nice simple little theorem. It's a little tricky to set out so just bear with me. x minus a is a factor of p of x if and only if p of a equals zero. Okay, so that's how you read that line, but I'm going to show you how to use it in a moment. What this is saying is p of x is a polynomial. If we can find a value, which we're calling a here, where if you put it into the polynomial and you get the result of zero, then that tells you that the a factor of that polynomial is x minus that value. Okay, so let's see how to really use this. Find the factors of this cubic. Now, a cubic has three factors. Um, so we're going to be trying to find three different brackets that would multiply to make that cubic. So we call this cubic p of x. The factors, if they're going to go into the cubic, then the constant term in the factor has to also be a factor of minus 2. So that's where our starting point is. We're going to try out factors of minus 2 in the polynomial. So starting off with the easiest of 1. If you put 1 into that polynomial, you do not get the answer of 0. That's what we're looking for. If you put minus 1 in, then you get 0. So minus 1 tells us that if we, put, if we can put minus 1 in and we get 0, then x minus that value, so x minus minus 1, is a factor. So that's x plus 1. So let's carry on looking for the other ones. That one is also equal to 0. So we put 2 in and we got a 0, therefore x minus 2 is a factor. Now let's try the other factor of minus 2, which is minus 2. That does not give us 0, so minus 2 is not a factor. Now we've tried all of the factors of minus 2. We've only come out with two factors, so one of these must actually be a repeat. And you can just try that by um, multiplying out to see um, which one would have to, to happen twice and still be able to give you that minus 2 at the end. Of course, if you repeated minus 2, you would get a 4 at the end instead of the minus 2. So it's the x plus 1 that is the repeat here. So that cubic is equal to x plus 1 squared x minus 2. Okay, let's have a look at the remainder theorem, which is the cousin to the factor theorem. Okay, so when the, a polynomial is divided by x minus a, the remainder is equal to p of a. So this follows on from what we just saw. When the remainder is 0, then it is a factor. But sometimes things don't divide exactly. Sometimes you want to know what the remainder is. This can be extended a little. So if we have um, the polynomial divided by sx minus t as our um, bracket there, then the remainder will be the value of that polynomial if you substitute in s divided by t. Very similar to when you're factorising quadratics. Okay, so let's see how this really works. We want to find the remainder when 2x cubed minus 3x plus 5 is divided by x plus 1. So we're calling that cubic there the polynomial p of x. We're going to put in the value of minus 1. If we're dividing by x plus 1, then we put in the opposite type of value, so the minus 1 goes into the polynomial. If we put that value in, then we get 6. So the remainder was 6. Let's look at another one. When x squared minus 6a plus a is divided by x minus 3, the remainder is 2. We want to find the value of a. So this tells us that when we put 3 into our polynomial, since it was divided by x minus 3, then we will get a remainder of 2. So put 3 in and you get 9 minus 18 plus a. And we know that it gives us a remainder of 2. So then you just solve that equation and we get that a equals 11.